comparing the spectrum in the harmonic series for a flute, clarinet, and oboe. A flute, clarinet, and oboe are almost the same length, but the flute is an open, open cylinder, a clarinet is a closed, open cylinder, and an oboe is a closed, open cone. In this segment, part three, we'll explore the frequency spectrum and the harmonic series for an oboe. First, I'll try to demonstrate how it's possible to play the first, second, and third harmonics, the fundamental, the octave, and an octave and a fifth, without changing any keys on the oboe. Now with an oboe, the bore, or the cross-sectional shape of the oboe, is a cone, very narrow at the top end, much, much, much larger at the open in a way that the diameter increases linearly as it goes along the length. As a result, for a cone, we're going to find that a cone will do all of the integer harmonics, not just the odd ones, as was the case for a clarinet. So on an oboe, it's possible to play the harmonic series, the octave and the octave and a fifth, the second and the third harmonics in the series as well. I'm going to apologize in advance for my playing. Until I made this video, I had never played an oboe before. So this is my very first time trying to play notes and a scale and harmonics on an oboe, having never picked one up until I made this video. Playing the lowest note on the oboe produces the harmonic series on the left, and we can see that all of the integer multiples are present except that they're not all present in equal amounts. The fundamental number one is very strong, as are three, four, five, and six, but two, seven, eight are much lower. This shaping of the harmonic series in the fundamental note is what gives the oboe its characteristic sound. Similarly, if we play the octave in the harmonic series, We get another harmonic series with all of the integer multiples present, starting on the second note, the octave. So what was the octave for the fundamental now becomes the root or the fundamental of a new harmonic series, and we get one, two, three, four, and so on. And finally, if we play the third note in the original harmonic series, an octave and a fifth above the original fundamental, number three, we get yet another harmonic series starting on what was originally the third harmonic of the original series, but this now becomes a fundamental. We get one, two, three, as indicated in the pink numbers on this spectrum. So now let's play a one octave scale, starting with all the holes closed and opening holes to produce the first seven notes in the scale, and then closing the holes and using the octave in the harmonic series to provide the top note. So here's the spectrum of the scale on the oboe. Each note of the scale produces its own harmonic series, and each of those harmonic series has all of the integer multiples present. Thanks for watching. If you like this one, check out the other two parts of the series. In part one, I take a look at a flute, which is an open, open cylinder, and plays all of the harmonics with an emphasis on the fundamental. In part two, I take a look at a clarinet, which is a closed, open cylinder, and has only the odd-numbered harmonics.